In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a Wacom digital drawing tablet on a Mac. If you haven't used a drawing tablet before, they are amazing. They give you really precise control of your mouse movements, which you can use to simulate brushwork in programs like Photoshop and Illustrator. Now, there's lots of different varieties of digital drawing tablets. They range in size and price uh, from under $100 up to several thousand. Most of them have a pressure sensitive stylus that looks like a pen like this. And some tablets even keep track of how that stylus is angled relative to the surface that you're drawing on. So uh, it gives you lots of extra information to simulate a drawing style more than you would get out of a mouse or a trackpad. Some tablets use a direct screen contact like the top right tablet you see here, uh, as well as the bottom left. Others use more of a trackpad style, uh, kind of like the one we'll be using today. Uh, we'll just be drawing on this surface with the stylus. Uh, others like the iSkin, for example, will attach special equipment to traditional drawing tools like pens or pencils, uh, kind of allowing you to get the best of both worlds. So wide range of styles and brands of drawing tablets out there. Wacom is the only brand that Adobe officially supports, so that's what we'll be using in this video. Now, before we do anything else, we need to make sure that we have installed the driver software for the tablet that we're using. This is really important uh, in order to get access to all of the features like pressure sensitivity that we'll need to draw with a digital drawing tablet. So to check that on a Mac, uh, all we need to do is mouse up to the top left corner, click on the Apple icon, then click on System Preferences. Down at the bottom, we're looking for an icon labeled Wacom tablet. So if you don't see this, that means you probably don't have the right drivers installed for your tablet. So if that's the case, go ahead to the Wacom site, search for your tablet by model number and install the software based on the instructions that come along with it. We've already done that here. Uh, so I can go ahead and plug in my drawing tablet. And let's go ahead and open up this tablet software so we can customize some of the settings for the way that we'd like to draw. So this tablet software gives us access to lots of different settings, including customizing all of the buttons uh, that are either on the tablet or on the stylus itself. So that this one has two little buttons here on the side that we can use uh, to simulate mouse buttons or really any other uh, keyboard stroke that we'd like in any software. Um, the first place I'd like to go here in these tablet settings is under the pen tab. And uh, I'd like to make some adjustments to the tip feel. So this is a great way to adapt uh, the responsiveness of the pen to the amount of pressure that you tend to use. Me personally, I'm really heavy handed. Uh, so I like my tip feel all the way up to firm. But if you are very light and delicate with your hand, you might want to adjust this down to soft. So as we uh, move that slider back and forth between soft and firm, I can take my stylus and go ahead and just push on the tablet. And that's going to give me an idea of the range of pressures the tablet is going to be tracking. So again, I already know that I like this uh, as firm as possible, but your setting might be different. Now here too, we can adjust uh, what each of the function keys do on the stylus itself, as well as the eraser. So right now this is set to switch to an eraser tool uh, when we're working in Photoshop, for example. So that's a really nice, handy, intuitive way uh, to work through the tools there. Now we also want to take a look at the mapping tab. And this is especially going to be important if you're someone like me who has multiple monitors. Uh, so this is helping us to decide how the surface of the tablet relates to the screen or multiple screens at the same time. So I can see right now uh, the tablet is mapping onto just one of my monitors. And I could change that uh, to different monitors or do all of my monitors as one big span. So this is one place where using a tablet is pretty different from using a mouse because you can't really pick up the stylus and, and sort of reposition it, uh, you're always sort of working as though the screen is all or some portion of the tablet surface itself. So those are the main settings you need to pay attention to. Of course, there's a lot of additional settings here, some of which can be really useful. Uh, one thing I really like is we have the option to give ourselves different groups of settings for different applications. So right now uh, in this top bar here, uh, I get a list of all the different profiles that I can set for my tablet. And right now I just have one, so that's going to be the same setting no matter what software that I'm using. But if I'd like, I can click the little plus icon and I could set up a specific profile just for Illustrator or just for Photoshop or any other program that I'd like my pen settings to behave differently in. Okay, so we're all set up, we're ready to go jump into our graphics editing program and use our digital drawing tablet. 